if you've already set up your Ring Central integration with XLR, uh, let's talk about the different methods for um, dialing outbound phone numbers. So I'm going to click on my settings again and go to Ring Central. And I'm going to choose my preferred method for placing outbound calls and text messages through Ring Central. So let's go ahead and talk about the ring out method first. This is a method by which uh, when you click on a phone hyperlinking XLR like this one here, it's first going to call you at your default call number first, be that your cell phone or desk phone or, or a combination of those. So you click the hyperlink, it calls you, and then connects you with the person that you're trying to reach. That's the ring out method. So let's choose that for now and show you how that works. And click OK. So let's go ahead and place an outbound phone call um, from Ring Central right here. I'm going to click the hyperlink. And when I do, you'll notice a new window has popped open. This is a progress window that's going to show me um, the, the details of my connection in this phone call to this particular candidate, for example. And once it actually connects, you're going to see that the status changes here. It says success. So now I'm on the, the line with this other person. We're having a conversation. It can go as long as it needs to. It's tracking that time, right? And if I want to, I can also hide this if I don't need to see it. You don't have to look at this. We're going to track the time no matter what. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is, is end the call from the other line. Um, and you'll notice that now a window has popped up because that call has ended. So it automatically logs this as a call. Um, it marks it as complete, and if I want to, I can add some notes about this call, that kind of thing, and hit save. Now, there's a, another very cool feature uh, that works with the ring out method here, and that's an inbound call pop. And by that, I mean when candidates or clients call you at your ring central number, you're going to get a pop-up telling you who that contact or candidate is, as long as they're in your database, so you can quickly hop to that contact or candidate record. So right now, I'm placing a call to myself at my Ring Central number, and in a second, you're going to see what happens here. So what I want you to look at is down here. This says, call from 208-720-5002. This is the consultant, Ted Tester. It's matched it with Run Record. If I click that button, it's going to open up that candidate record. And now I can add my notes or whatever I want to do. Um, so very, very nice for being able to uh, quickly, you know, find who it is that you're, 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 is calling you and, and interact with that person. Last step here, I can send text messages, right? If I want to send a text message to this person, I'll just click send SMS text message to the selected candidate. Once the text message window opens, you can start to type your text message here, right? Hi, Brian. Um, you'll also notice that you can choose the account. So if you're already using our Swift SMS text message integration, you might need to choose your Ring Central account to send that outbound text message. It uh, depends on if you are already using that or not. And then you can just hit send to actually initiate that text message uh, to the candidate or client, right? That text message is then going to show up in the history um, for this client or candidate. <clears throat> So that is the ring out method uh, using the ring central integration. As always, any questions, send an email to support at cbizsoft.com. Thanks so much.